All right, so here we have the Razer Thunderbolt 4 stock chroma. So that just means it does the fancy lighting. Let's crack this bad boy open. So we have a big document here. Just, uh, you know, Razer does nice booklets. You can get all these online and they get PDF versions. I'll show that here. Oh, there's the 135 watt power. That's interesting. 135 watt power brick right here and then here is the dock itself all cardboard of course razor is big on recycling and a three pronger huh? and thunderbolt all right so there we are we have fairly small charging brick and of course three prong power plug this is a dc port that goes in here so let's look at here so you can tell there's the chroma lights around this bad boy is a razor so it's going to be fingerprinty so here's a headphone jack here is the thunderbolt 4 port an sd card slot three thunderbolt 4 ports in the back three usb a ports an ethernet port with the tab on top and then of course the power slot here so not a lot on this dock you know the main thing you're going for is the color and then the sd card slot's very nice if you don't have a device that has an sd card slot so i currently have the razor blade 17 which does have an sd card slot but this would allow me to have another sd card slot or have it in a more accessible location potentially all right so here we have the dock i have not plugged into the razor blade yet i'll take the thunderbolt cord that came with it i'm gonna plug it into the host section here so it should pop up here. So now the razor blade made a noise. I'm thinking it does recognize it. So it is lighting up. So let's go ahead and launch Synapse. Should automatically update it, but sometimes gotta work with some stuff here. So let me check for updates here. So we're looking for updates in all three. We are good. So let's go ahead and launch Razer Synapse. Sometimes it does it automatically and sometimes you have to actually launch it whenever you plug in a new Razer device into a device that has Synapse. So it's hard to say. There we go. So Razer Blade, it recognizes. And let's see if it recognizes the old dock. It's telling me I need more power. So it is recognizing the power from this guy. So that's nice. Well, that's nice. There we go. So now we have an update available for Synapse. Let's update that. All right. So now we do see the Razer Chroma dock. And then we can click on the dock itself. And there's a volume mixer. So you can adjust the volume of that port, right? And then we can change the audio or the lighting. So right now it's just doing spectrum cycling, but we can change it to audio meter. So that would be if I was playing music, it would bounce to that it breathing. We'll see it's flashing green there. It's not matching this. That's a, I'll show that point in a second. Fire, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the fire ones. Starlight, also pretty cool. Just gonna kind of blink over there a little bit. Static, just one solid color. And then the wave, which also is very cool. So now it's doing the wave. And then I can go over here and change this lighting to the keyboard to wave. And they should sync up pretty normally there. You can kind of tell, I don't know, hopefully the lights aren't too bright. We should be able to see they're syncing up pretty good. It's much more noticeable if we do spectrum cycling. We'll click on accessories over here and then go back to lighting and go to spectrum cycling. They should be on the same color, which is very nice. The stupid Alienware products don't do that. So if you turn the light off, you can tell. Let me turn this light off. You should be able to tell if they're the same color. They went to purple. All right, gotta turn it back on. So clear, we can stick them in there and it should recognize the SD card here. Yep, up right up. Interesting, it's not spring loaded. The Razer Blade is spring loaded. It's plugged in there, it shows us a USB drive instead of an SD card. Right now, I go here, I can eject my USB drive, which is this one. If I take it out, put it in the blade and it sees it as an SD card. Interesting. I don't know if that's good or bad per se, but it's how she works. And then let's plug in this ethernet cable. Got a long ethernet cable here. It's running from my Eero router. So we plug your ethernet in. Now you can tell it is charging. So it has the charging symbol, of course, from the power from here. And then it does show the ethernet symbol. So let's go ahead and go in our network settings. Obviously ethernet three is connected. When we click on ethernet, you can tell it is a thousand gig. It's a real tech gigabit ethernet. So that's the good stuff. That's what you're looking for. All right, so here I got the razor blade with the dock, the wireless charger, and the laptop stand. So if we open up some Synapse here, we can see all three set up here. You can see that you can make all these colors match in studio. Like right now, I have them set to all doing ambient awareness. So let's say I do quick selection, select everything, and then I change this to spectrum cycling and then save it. You can tell they're all changing colors at the same time here. All right, I just wanted to show a little bit about the Thunderbolt dock here. This is my Razer Blade 17, and this is just a 4K Samsung monitor. So the monitor is plugged via DisplayPort, USB-C Thunderbolt 2 DisplayPort cord directly into the monitor. The back of the monitor just has 
DisplayPort ports doesn't have, you know, USB-C or Thunderbolt or anything like that. One quick note, an annoying note, this port on the front of the Thunderbolt dock is the host port. And that's the only one that you can connect to the laptop. All right, so now I got Synapse up. I've unplugged the monitor and you can see in Synapse, there's nothing in there. So it's only showing the laptop. So I'm gonna plug it into one of these back ports. There's three different ones. I've tried all three, but just for video purposes, so you can see me plug it in here and it's not gonna recognize it. There's no lighting up, nothing's changing, right? Now, let me unplug it from here and plug it into this front host port. Now it will recognize it. So you can see it's lighting up as it should. This is very nice. Now, the only qualm I have with that is that the lights are on the front, they're not on the back here. So if you wanna have it sit on your desk and looking like pretty and arranged, now you're gonna have this wire popping out the front, which is not super cool. But what is cool is I can plug in any of these ports back here will replicate the display port functionality of Thunderbolt. So now this monitor should come up. And if I go to the display settings here, it's doing 4K. This monitor only does 60 hertz. I've used this with my 38 inch Alienware monitor and my 38 inch LG monitor, and it will both hit 120 or 144 hertz, no problem. You can even look further. So you can see on the display port section that it is connected directly to the 3080 Ti. And if I went back to the internal display, it's connected to the XE graphics. And that's even with it set to Optimus, right? Because that's only worrying about the internal display. I can leave the laptop in Optimus and then set the external display to be connected directly to the 3080 Ti. Here's another way to verify, right? If you go to the NVIDIA control panel, you can see the external monitor is tied directly to the 3080 Ti, just like it shows uh, right here. So this is how I've used it, you know, with the 38 inches that, and I've had all my accessories plugged in, Ethernet and all that, and it works just fine. I will say one thing that's kind of interesting, this setup works perfectly fine with the Razer, but I also have a Dell XPS 9710. And if I take this out, and I plug it into the Dell, which is Thunderbolt 4. You can see it's still lit up here. And if I have Synapse on here, which I do, it will recognize the dock and it'll work with Ethernet and all those things, right? But it does not show the display. So even over here, if I go to Window P and I go to Extend, it just never recognizes it through the dock for some reason. I don't know why. But let's say I take this out and I plug the same cord that's going, this is the one's going to the monitor and plug it in just through the Thunderbolt display port section. It does work. I gotta change the settings, of course, but. So I don't know why the Dell does not work through this Thunderbolt dock. The Dell has its own dock and it will work with the same display port cord plugged into this display port port. So I don't know why the Razer one doesn't work with it. I'm not proud of updating software and all that. So just caveat again, I can't imagine you're gonna buy this unless you have a Razer device anyhow, but just something to note. Well, that's another reason why I wish this had actual display port ports in the back as opposed to only Thunderbolt ports, but anyhow. What are you gonna do? All right, that's it for now. When I initially purchased the Razer Thunderbolt Chroma dock, I had a Razer Blade 17 and I was all in on the laptop life. Just one powerful device to run everything. At some point in time, I decided I was gonna build a Razer desktop. And since I was gonna have this powerful desktop with a 13th Gen i7 and a 3080 Ti, I didn't see the need to keep my Razer Blade 17. So I sold that laptop and I still have my Dell XPS 9710 as the laptop to use when I travel somewhere, but for home, I'm gonna use this powerful desktop. So part of me worried I had wasted my money on the Razer Thunderbolt dock. However, I did use the ASRock Z690 Tai Chi Razer Edition motherboard that does have Thunderbolt. So I could still hook up this to my desktop. In doing that, the Razer desktop doesn't have an SD card slot. So I was glad to be able to use the SD card slot on the Thunderbolt dock. And that's when I realized it is extremely fast. So both my previous daily driver laptops, the Dell XPS 9710 and the Razer Blade 17 had their own SD card readers in the laptops themselves. The Razer Blade 17 in particular had a high speed card reader. However, it wasn't until I started using this Razer desktop as my daily driver that I realized just how fast the SD card reader in this Thunderbolt dock is. Now, I don't know if it's because it's going, if it's the card reader itself or because it's going over Thunderbolt or what, but we're gonna give you a couple examples. So we're gonna test with two SD cards here, a SanDisk Extreme Pro, 128 gigabyte, a Samsung Pro Plus is 256 gigabytes. Both of them are U3. The SanDisk says it will get up to 170 megabytes per second read speeds, and the Samsung says it will do 160 
read and a 120 write speeds. So first thing we're gonna do in folder of the Dell XPS 9710, I have a file that I'm using for this very video that is 6.13 gigabytes. So now let me stick in first the SAN disk card. We're gonna see how fast it writes to it, recognizes the card right away. I wanna copy and then paste it to the card. All right, so we're writing to the SanDisk card at roughly 75 megabytes per second. The six gigabyte card, so it should take about 60 seconds here. So again, we're getting a pretty consistent 74 megabytes per second write speed from the Dell laptop to the SanDisk card. All right, now we're just gonna rename this one on SanDisk. We can see our properties, 6.13 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and eject this disk and we're gonna copy the same card. This is the Samsung and paste from the Dell laptop to the Samsung SD card. And we're going about 74 megabytes per second. I'm not sure if it is or is not relevant, but I've had this black SanDisk card for a very long time. The Samsung card is just a couple months old. Again, a pretty consistent 73 three to 74 megabytes per second writing from the Dell to the Samsung card. All right, so, and I'm gonna rename this one on Samsung. All right, now let's take the Dell SD card reader out of the equation. We're gonna use a pluggable super speed USB 3.0 SD card reader. So the pluggable, of course, is only USB-A and Dell is only Thunderbolt, but Dell came with this little adapter, so doesn't really clarify if this is USB 2 or 4 or Thunderbolt or what this is, but this is the adapter they came with. We're gonna give it a shot. So plug it in and we'll see. It recognizes first the SanDisk card. So it does recognize it and it shows this an SD card. So now we're gonna copy again and paste. So again, we're getting a pretty consistent speed of 74 megabytes per second going from the Dell to the SD card through the pluggable card reader. All right, so we're roughly the same speeds there. And now we're gonna go with the white Samsung card also through the pluggable. All right, so now let's copy this again. So again, we're getting 72, 71, 72. So not maybe like a tid, tad bit slower through the pluggable than directly through the Dell SD card slot. So again, about 72 megabytes per second, which is not particularly slow, but a little less than half of the potential max of 160 megabytes per second. All right, and we're gonna rename that one Dell Reader Samsung card. All right, so now we're getting rid of the pluggable for the moment. And let's plug in the Razer dock to my Dell XPS 9710. See it lighting up there. Now I'm gonna plug in the SanDisk card here. So the one interesting tidbit is it recognizes the Thunderbolt dock as a USB drive. I don't know if that's because it's going over Thunderbolt or what, even though it's an SD card, it's recognizing it as a USB drive. All right, so now I've renamed this as well so we know which file came from which device. And that's gonna make sense in a minute. So now we're copying the same drive, the same file over from the Dell laptop to the SanDisk card via the Thunderbolt cable to the Razer dock, same SanDisk card. Now we're getting 105 megabytes per second. So right off the bat, we're going from 74 to 100, so about 30 megabytes per second faster with the Thunderbolt dock. You still can eject it just like a normal SD card. So now we got rid of that one. That's the SanDisk card. So now I'm gonna put the Samsung, which has says it has write speeds up to 120 megabytes per second. So let's plug that into the Razer dock. Recognizes it right away. Of course, no problem there. Now, once again, we're gonna copy from the Dell laptop to the Samsung card via Thunderbolt cable to the Razer dock. So again, right back up to 104 megabytes per second, 105 megabytes per second, whereas we were getting about 71, 72, 73 with the other card readers. The only thing has changed, same card, same file, same laptop, we're getting 104 megabytes per second, writing from the laptop to the card. And while I don't have my Razer Blade 17 to test anymore, I believe this is definitely faster than I was getting using the reader directly on the Razer Blade 17. All right, now let me rename this one. Razer Reader Samsung Card. All right, so now we've shown examples of basically writing to the card, the Razer dock is faster. Now let's try it the other way. We're gonna take the Razer Reader, the file is still 6.13 gigabytes. We're gonna copy it and then we're gonna paste it back Back into the Dell. And now look at that, we're getting 145, going down a little bit, but at one point we're up to 145 megabytes per second, back down to 130 megabytes per second. Again, the max speed of that card, read speeds are 160 megabytes per second. Now we're at 144 again. So we're fairly close to the listed max speed of that card, which is pretty nice. And again, this is a six gigabyte file, so it's no small file where it's gonna 
you know, spiking. And I've used it with larger files, of course. So, all right, just more testing just to verify. So now we'll test with the sand disk card. The sand disk card says it gets read speeds up to 170 megabytes. So we'll see if it gets even faster. So again, properties just to be sure, 6.13 gigabytes. We're going to copy and paste. And there we are, we're getting 165, 163 megabytes per second. So two interesting notes. One, apparently the SanDisk card is faster than the newer Samsung card, which is crazy to me. I don't know why it's so much faster, but it's interesting that it is. I, mean, I love Samsung products, but the SanDisk clearly is way faster at this point. And yeah, blazing right through there. All right, so now let's go ahead and eject this. So again, we were getting 160-ish speeds there. Now we're gonna plug in the Samsung card directly in to the SD card slot of the Dell XPS 9710. And now we're gonna copy the Dell reader from Samsung card. And that is again, 6.13 gigabytes. And this is a Samsung card, so we we're getting about 145 write speeds previously from the Razer dock. And here we are, once again, just like before, we're getting about 70, 74, 75 megabytes going from the card to the Dell laptop. Now we're getting down to about 71, sometimes 69. So again, I think we've basically proven our point here, but just for the scientific method here, let's go ahead and keep testing. So this is the Dell Reader card properties, 6.13 gigabytes. We're gonna copy that again and paste it over from the card through the Dell Reader directly to the Dell you know, folder structure. And we're getting 78 to 80 megabytes write speeds. Again, no slouch here on the Dell device, but it's more important to point out, it's a lot of speed advantage on the Razer Thunderbolt dock. That helps swallow that price tag a little bit more, right? This is not a cheap dock by any means, but the fact that you're getting blazing fast SD card speeds through their SD card reader to your Thunderbolt capable device, it's pretty nice. In addition, you get the, obviously the chroma lighting and the multitude of ports in the back. I do wish it had a dedicated display port or something like that in the back, but the Thunderbolt port works just fine for me. For display port from the Razer laptop, not the Dell, of course. Getting up to 82 megabytes per second, pretty good, but nowhere near as fast as the Razer, of course. And then just for the last hoorah, let's go back to the pluggable. And again, I bought this myself a while back and it worked great, no qualms with it. And it's a lot more cost effective to purchase this over the Razer Dock, of course, but the Razer Dock does a lot more than just this. You know, I didn't even get into the audio quality of the headphone jack, which should be good. I never used it for that. I use a DAC, but I think that audio is probably pretty good out of that one. All right, so this is the pluggable reader card. Again, properties, 6.13 gigabytes. We're going from the SanDisk card via the pluggable reader to the Dell folder. And again, we're getting about 78. All right, again, uh, in the 70s, again, no slouch, but also no Razer Thunderbolt dock speeds, right? All right, I think we've basically proven our point at this part of the video, but just for consistency purposes, Samsung SD card through the pluggable to the Dell, again, 6.13 gigabytes. Let's go, and this one we'll try cut in, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, it shouldn't, of course. And pasting, here we go. Oh, we're up to 80 megabytes per second, back down 74. Again, about what we expect at this point. You know, I hauled this desktop up here, not just to be eye candy, it is gorgeous, but I was gonna do laptop tests and then move the Thunderbolt dock over to the desktop and then show those tests as well. But there's really no need, just testing the Dell XPS 9710 SD card reader and the pluggable reader here. I think we've proven pretty clearly that the Razer is much faster. Again, I don't know if that is the reader itself or the fact that it's reading it as a USB device and then moving over Thunderbolt, but it works. So again, pretty positive on the old Thunderbolt dock. My one major complaint is that this comes out the front, so that kind of messes up your aesthetics since the lighting is under here, of course. I do have an idea though for my desk setup to kind of tie that in to another cord and then kind of route them pretty neatly on my desktop. I'm still far from that, but stay tuned in future videos. We're gonna show a lot more Razer stuff. We're gonna show the dock some more, of course, and then we'll get into this bad boy here, the Razer desktop build, my first ever PC build using almost all Razer components. Everything that can be Razer on this is Razer. You know, Razer doesn't sell their own graphics card. They don't sell their own RAM. I did my best, but it's turned out pretty well. And I'm pretty happy with it. So go ahead and subscribe, check out future videos. We're gonna have a lot more Razer stuff coming your way. And again, big fan of the Razer dock, a bit pricey, but Razer stuff does tend to be pricey, but it also tends to work pretty well. In this case, like I said, you're getting a very capable SD card reader from your Thunderbolt dock faster than the built-in SD card 
on a high-end vice. All right, that's it. Thanks for checking me out.